For sure. Okay. There, oh, there was one other thing I wanted to talk about. You made a post a little while ago and I thought it was really cool. I think it speaks to your mindset as a, as a solid entrepreneur, someone who's trying to build for the long term. You made a post about an investment that you made. Uh, regarding, you know, you've made some money in dropshipping. And I think a lot of people who make money in those early days, it, so many of them, you won't see them again. They won't be able to build a sustainable long-term business. And you made a post about some, what some of the things that you've done with your earnings from from dropshipping, investing specifically in real estate. And I think that's such a, a good message for people in the audience who found some success to really make sure that they're investing in things that have long-term potential, even outside of their business. Can you talk a little bit about that yeah man so one of the biggest things is that i see people forget uh why they started in the first place most people get started uh online as a as a way or as a vehicle to gain freedom time freedom location freedom and financial freedom but as you start making some money you start forgetting that you started for that in the first place and you start trading the freedom that you earned for you know for other stuff like most people start online they make money and, and they buy they start spending the money in, in things that in my opinion are like are not congruent with the reason you start in the first place right hmm. so if you started for freedom and then you're spending all your money and starting from scratch every time then it, it's it's not congruent like with the reason you started so what i'm doing is i've always had that vision like regardless if i started making or no i knew that my my long-term goal was the freedom right so my game plan is very simple my game plan is make money with the internet regardless if it's e-commerce or affiliate i do some affiliate marketing uh, i only promote click funnels but i make some money with that and regardless of any income that i produce online it just goes to real estate to real estate to real estate um in the past 12 months i i bought three apartments which got me super excited because it was a freaking dream of mine to get one of those by the time I was like 20. So, and then I just said like, man, like if I can get three, then by the time I'm 30, if I can get 30, right, and I can just have them rented, I, I have them fully rented, the three of them. It's like, man, like real estate is, in my opinion, the long-term plan. And and my message is not like, you have to go to real estate. My message is like, like remember the reason you started in the first place, if it was for freedom, if you made 250K, don't spend that on a Lambo. That's 250K, right? <laughs> Unless you want to be in the rat race forever and be a slave of your own business. I just think like people have to remember that stuff. And, um, you know, one day you make a lot of money, it's very easy to spend the money. It's a lot easier to spend the money than to make it, right? Yeah. Just swipe. And you keep swipe. it. And to keep it yeah. is the hardest part. And, and especially if you can keep it and grow it. Do your apartments cash flow positively? Yeah. Or so close? basically what I did is... This was kind of like my my idea with it, with it because since I'm very young, I don't get like it's hard to get to get credit, right? Uh, if you if you've never bought anything before, if you don't have any debt, I don't owe anyone money or anything at the bank. So you said uh, the first two I bought them cash, right? And the reason I did that was because I wanted to have positive cash flow on two. Mm -hmm. So if one was not rented, one was still producing, mm -hmm. and by by buying those um, cash, I was able to set kind of like a foundation so that I could go ahead and tell the man like, look, I have to, if, if, if for some reason I don't pay my credit, like you can, you can just take one of them, like the other ones, right? So when the third one, I, I got it with credit because I want to build up my credit. Very, very important when you're in a young age, you want to build your credit. So I just went ahead, it was pretty easy for me because I just said like, you know what, I, like I already have two. And uh, like this third one, I, I just put like, I think it was like 20% the minimum and then it's rented and it's paying it's it's paying by it, itself you know like it's just so i'm not so much about you know, making money right now like i have to making positive cash flow but even if i had the three of them breaking even i'm happy because i'm an owner of three yeah and i'm using the bank's money to be the owner of three so um my game plan from now on now that i have i pay two up front and the one with credit like more like all of them that i'm gonna get right now are gonna be credit Right, because why would I use my own money to purchase them? All I needed were, were the first two to set the, the base, and then from there I'm just gonna do credit, 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 credit. <laughs> Amazing, man. Well, good luck on your quest for thirty. Are these are these in Costa Rica or around the world? Uh, in Costa Rica. So I want to have all my eggs in one basket, like here. In here, I don't know. I don't trust too much the situation here for a lot of them. I don't know. May, anything can happen. It's a small country. Um, third world countries are a bit more.